Euh, on m'a souvent reproché d'ailleurs de ne pas donner le prix suffisamment à des femmes. On a soufflé hier que je devrais avoir des quotas. Ce n'est pas exactement ce que je souhaite. Mais euh, je pense que Madame Fatima Mahadabio, qui est la première dame de Sierra Leone, donc du coup du chef de l'État, est une femme, pardonnez-moi, extraordinaire. Et vous avez pu l'apprécier dans ses interventions, vous avez pu l'apprécier, c'est véritablement une femme de leadership. Et vous avez une vision, madame, euh, en tant que vous avez concerne euh, la vie politique, la vie sociale, sociétale, mais aussi euh, les grands domaines de l'action gouvernementale. Vous êtes intervenu avec brio tout à l'heure euh, dans notre initiative « Oil and Minerals » sur la réappropriation par les États d'Afrique de leurs ressources naturelles. Et, et véritablement, madame, vous ouvrez des voies et je sais que votre mari vous êtes un homme extraordinaire aussi, parce que d'ailleurs tout homme extraordinaire est une femme extraordinaire. Et véritablement, euh, euh, la Sierra Leone va aujourd'hui euh, être un exemple en termes de gouvernance d'efficacité. Et vous en avez la responsabilité dans une certaine mesure. Fatima Mahadabio, première dame de la République de Sierra Leone. President of Comoros, I wanted to also salute my sister, my mommy, for being that pillar that made our excellency rejoice here this world. Thank you, sir. Not every man celebrates their wives. Thank you. I want to also say, um, you know, when you say you are the class of 2024, They say, show me them. And I'm very humbled that I had the opportunity to share this stage and to receive this award on behalf of all African women and all the girls of our continent. But to, receive, to receive this award with a president of a whole nation, with a governor of a, the biggest state in Africa, And, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Giron, also, when I, when I look at the caliber of people that I stand between and being the only woman, I have to say thank you to Allah for giving me this opportunity. But most importantly, I want to say thank you to my husband, retired Brigadier Julius Madabio, for, for allowing me to do the work that I do, for giving me the space, to be able to speak up for the voiceless. There's a lot of African first ladies. Only a few of us have the opportunity to actually represent Africa. And when you have a president who is willing to give that space to his wife and say, go and fight for your people, we have to appreciate them. So I'm more thrilled when I had the president of Comoros also speak this well about my mommy here and uh, I mean, we've been together for the last six years. I can tell you, you will never see this man without this woman. They've been together all the time. And I want to say, I am humbled. I want to thank the ambassador, Jean Paul. Um, you are such a wonderful man. You have made me feel so welcome since I arrived here from Vienna two days ago. And you have, you have appreciated everything that I do. You have actually pushed me to do more and you gave me platforms that I needed to express the things that I want to express to the world. And for now, for you to also look at me and give me an award among these wonderful men, I want to say thank you and that I appreciate you. The award is not for me, it is for African women and it is for the girls. So you are giving us hope. You are giving us hope. 
you are giving us hope to say when you serve your people, people will celebrate you. It is not about celebration, it's acknowledgement. And this award is for every African woman, it's for every woman in Sierra Leone, and it's for those girls that I fight for every day, those girls that I refuse for them to be married as, as teenagers, those girls that I'm pushing to be in school and retain their I mean, education so that they will be able to be somebody in society. It is those girls that I will stand in front of them and when I speak, I speak as a role model for them and because you gave me this opportunity. So I want to say thank you. You don't get an award from European Union and United Nations together presenting an award to you. This is the biggest thing you, you are making. No woman asked for this, but then God has given it to me today. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you all. And thank you to all the wonderful women who have taken time to be here. This is a wonderful platform to express ourselves. And I tell you, I have enjoyed myself so well. Thank you very much.